we recently just gotten um, information from CIG from the latest um, roadmap roundup uh, pertaining to Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 and um, it's actually one of the biggest news we've had yet uh, this year and uh, CIG has essentially uh, dropped uh, new information on what we can expect this Q3 um, with all the features coming along with Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 so um, initially this is big news it's huge news and uh, for me um, I think it's very exciting and it is uh, for most people but I did um, I am seeing it especially through comments um, a lot of doubt from some people which is understandable um, from their perspective you know so um, I wanted to do this video to have a little bit of a discussion and um, on it to see um, if we can come to some understanding um, in terms of uh, uh, whether Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 is actually possible for Q3 or even Q4 of this year. Okay, so some of the things that people have mentioned um, as uh, one of the points uh, where they're doubting is the fact that Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 was actually um, in uh, the roadmap for 2020 and it was removed. So. Uh, my thoughts on that is um, at that point, CIG um, ran into some situations where they needed um, a few hurdles that they needed to cross, especially when it comes to um, server meshing and, and those things, right? So they realized that uh, the work, what they want to accomplish and the level of fidelity they want to deliver, they need more time to work on the technology right at that point um 2018 was i believe when they dropped uh the new database uh pes uh the, the persistence uh uh tech uh that they needed to convert it convert over to and um they learned a few lessons there because it, the implementation into the live servers was uh um wasn't the best so um they did learn from that and they did um do their own internal assessment to see what what's going to be required in order to deliver a 4.0 experience and not even just 4.0 but also a 1.0 so we have to remember star citizen cig isn't thinking of 4.0 as the um final goal post it's actually 1.0 and this 4.0 is actually a prerequisite before they can drop a 1.0 my prediction um we could probably see 1.0 maybe the end of 2025 um, I think um, 4.0 is going to be a little, it's going to be in testing for quite some time. So, um, so that's my thoughts on that. That's, that's, um, I think CIG did learn some lessons and they, they assessed and they found out that certain things is going to take a lot longer, especially with server meshing. Okay. So, and, um, before we move forward, I'd like y'all to know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Morai Pulse. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of June. All right. Any video between now and the end of June. All right. So let's continue. Some people also had some doubts saying that CIG has always disappointed in terms of what they want to deliver and the time, the time frames that they always say. You know, the, remember, they're, they, um, this past, uh, um, I think uh, what was it IAE or CitizenCon they announced that CIG is essentially finished with Squadron 42 and they're in a state where they're polishing and C and Chris Roberts had did mention in in um, in a letter from the chairman that they reach an inflection point where they can start accelerating development for the PU so right now a lot of the devs are in are now switching from squadron 42 over to the pu which is why we're now starting to get these large patches right 3.23 is like the biggest patch uh since you know and was a lot of content that they dropped with that and they're doing the same thing with 4.0 so a lot of people doubt that it's not possible and we need to consider the fact that cig have internal builds already that they're testing internally of starts in alpha 4.0 and i'm sure they also have internal builds of 1.0 right 
And the list that they came up with, right, the feature set that they came up with, in order for them to come up with all these features that they listed, they must have an internal build at least working in some form in order for them to come up with this list here, right? And the core tech, the most important piece is server mesh in V1, right? And recently, a few months ago, they did a test um, internally. It was successful and they delivered it out into tech preview. I believe it was in tech preview and um, they even pushed it out into um, even a, a, a player. Uh, 800 player uh, test case so so uh, they did two tests they did one test where they had multiple servers running one star system which was in Stanton and they pushed the, the tech to see if they can get 800 players within that one shard you know but essentially even at the 400 uh, player count into that one shard um, where there's multiple servers working it was working well it was very smooth and we can see ourselves transitioning from one server to another, you know. And so they tested it. They brought it out to us and we tested it and it was a success. It was a major success for them to see that the tech that they've been testing internally worked. Another one was the tech where server meshing configuration between two star systems. So that's Stanton and Pyro. They did an EVO test with that one and gotten EVO Cadi to actually transition between the two star system back and forth with server mesh so they did that internally and they also brought it out for us to test and it was a huge success as well so we need to understand that cig has internal builds in order to feel confident that they can deliver with these and i don't think these this is it i think there's a lot more i think they're being um with this list i think they're being conservative right you have to understand the amount of people that they were using to develop squad 42 is essentially in a full studio amount of devs right and they're all coming over to uh, most of them at least is coming over to the pu to work on the pu so they have a lot of horsepower now uh to push out this so me personally i think they can deliver this i think server mesh in v1 is looking solid for them to be feel confident that they can even deliver in q3 instead of q4 uh, i think personally the testing cycle is going to be a long testing cycle and i can expect that and um after they get this out it's going to be really exciting stuff because the next talk is going to be star citizen alpha 4. Point, not 4.0 but 1.0 not alpha but beta uh 1.0 you know it's gonna be really exciting but you guys let me know your thoughts do you guys think it's gonna be possible where they're going to um actually drop star citizen alpha 4.0 um by q3 of this year or do you guys think that there's going to be delays or you guys think cig it's not going to be possible for cig to deliver this this year let me know your thoughts on that down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next video later